Hello everyone, a few days ago I went over the Mahi Mahi reworks for Splatoon 3 and today the new patch drops, meaning we get to finally see the new Mahi Mahi resort layout for every mode. Like and subscribe for more Splatoon content and let's dive into Recon to review the new Mahi Mahi layouts. Mahi Mahi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First of all, spawn. Much bigger now. You actually do have a good bit of space now to walk around and actually you can come over here and jump down like to the side here. That cover as well. You can actually defend yourself. But now you can go all the way down here. Not only that, but you can come all the way over here where you can just walk here. This is so nice. This lower section has been extended not really as far as I think actually, but it's okay. It's not bad. Then there's a sweet block right here that goes onto this great and then there's the extension down below, it goes over here, oh the islands, okay, I'm going to talk about the islands in a minute. You have this extension down here, it's really good. And then back up here, you've got this giant block. This is actually turfable now, I didn't just realise this, but you can actually, instead of going all the way back up here, which would be a lot more painful to do, you can actually just go like this, that, that is a good feature actually. It means you don't have to go all the way back here to retreat to your upper landing, you can just jump up here and you can then defend here. And of course you've got the encro, which has been ranked, which is brilliant. Oh, here we go. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Ah, oh, you can just jump down here and you can go wee! There's no need to go to the mid now! Then going to the left, this section's been extended. The block's not been changed too much, actually. I thought it would have been more right about here, but I guess not. Then, okay. I don't think that was in the like, the rework notes, but that's pretty cool. That's a really cool grid. You like, just walk across here. That's good for like things like splatlands and all that. And over here, you've got this extension right here because before if for those that know it would end right here this is where the end of the platform would be this is new and this is new oh god so now you can just climb over here and you can just <laughs> not die i did you've also got this block here where you can just jump over here and you no longer have to make an awkward jump here you can just go like this and you can just go Wee! and you can come back over here and if you want to flank you can go all the way over here now oh that's weird <laughs> this used to be a double blob but now it's a single block with only two inkable sides and then when you come out to med you go over here and you got this wee grate to make this jump easier. It's actually a move. Actually, no. Mid's bigger. Look, like this would, this top platform would normally be about here, like where the grate is. But now you can't even, like you can almost barely not make that jump. It's a hard jump now if you're not using the grate. They actually made spawn, sorry, not spawn, mid bigger. Oh my god, Mahi is so big now. It feels so big compared to what it was before. <laughs> this is like surreal. And they still haven't fixed that balloons wiring. What the fuck? Zones, what do you have to show? Bum looks pretty much the same. You can go down here. You still have that ankle block. This cable is still here. Cable. <laughs> Incline. <laughs> so you now have this grate, which means you can just jump up here and jump back, which is actually pretty nice. It's made a bit further forward as well, because before it will just go here. So you have an ankle set. Ankles. Ooh. You actually can't. You know, actually. Hold on. Okay, you probably could, but it's probably tight. But now you go up here, you can walk across the grate and get back. But they've also pushed that out a bit, so now you can just have a bit of inkable space, because before you'd have to walk across this like, balloon area without inking. But now you can just kind of go over here. Left side seems to be unchanged. There's not too much here, except for the fact that this pole's gone, for obvious reasons. I think we all can agree that devs were pretty into making Tetris blocks for several stages. I didn't think they would put a Tetris block inside a Tetris block. There's not too much that seems to be changed with the water levels up. Let's see what it's like with the water level down. Alright, what you got for us? Not too much more I can see. This section seems to be the same, going all the way here. The balloon's not here, obviously. That's pretty much expected. This section feels so much wider now as well. There's so much more ground to cover. This side looks so barren now. Look at this. If you wanted to flank with the water up, that's cool. Because you would, you would, got, you would go from here to here now. But now you can go all the way over to here if you wanted to. And you can like place a beacon here. Oh my god, that's actually it's gonna change up. It's gonna open up the map so much. For the right modes in particular, I'm gonna give them a rating specifically because I want to try and give some sort of criticism for this. I think this is like a seven out of ten change. I think it's like a good change. This thing still feels a bit barren, but it's pretty solid nonetheless. I think it's like a seven, maybe an eight out of ten for, for zones. Pretty solid. I'm actually gonna make this rating a nine out of ten for the zones variation because of the fact the spawn ramp, which allows you to go up to the block just below the first block, has been removed. I do realize this later when checking out the TC variation of the map, but I thought I'd mention it here anyways. Now back to the video. Okay, how much has tower control changed? This side over here has been extended actually, or maybe it's not. No, okay, this was the same as before. This has just been, I think, readjusted. Maybe it's been readjusted? I don't know if it's been touched or not. Oh, it has been touched actually. This block's gone now. Oh, it is so much different actually. This section's been shifted over. It's got more depth now, because before it would end about here. 
but now it has this extra wee section that it goes f further in. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's an oversight. That just goes straight into the wall. <laughs> Does this mean what thing's gonna mean? We need to try that later. So before you're coming down this side, you would have to go straight down here and you will go straight past here. But now you have A, a block to retreat back up here much easier. This is where this old this old block would connect to this, but it's it, now this block creates a nice jump. And you can also, if you don't want to do it, you can just go to the side here and you can flank over here. I mean, you can go over here and you can finally flank on this map. Also, can we block? Nice. They have changed mid so much. Oh my god, this is new. This entire section is new. This used to be sitting over water, but now it's got a bridge in the middle, like on, um, what call it? Um, what, not Hagglefish, what's his name? I got, like on Camp Triggerfish. It's also significantly wider in the middle as well, and then you can go over here, and it's still over water, but at least this is over set the mid, and this is a bit of ground, so it's a lot better. This also creates a nice jump, that's pretty cool. It's also lower as well. Alright, Nintendo. Oh, that's why! Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I was wondering why that was like that, but that makes sense because the water level drops. I'm a doofus, guys, ignore me. When the water is down, there's a few changes. This block no connects to this, which is pretty nice. This section's here. This is new because now you can go up here and use it as an extra bit of cover. This is inkable! If this is up, you, this is actually not only raised up so much, but you can just climb it and go up onto the tower like this. That's nice. Although maybe this is unnecessary. The ramps have been extended just a wee bit like so. And yeah. Oh my god, man. Terror control actually looks pretty solid now. There's also a wee bit of terrain here, which I think wasn't really the same as what it is now. But it's actually giving you some cover now for here, which is pretty nice. And unlike zones where you could go up into the enemy spawn from what I remember, you can't get into the enemy plat now. This is brilliant. This not only means that you can have this entire section up here, but you all know how this and you also have this entire section right here as well for yourself. Well, outside of this jump here, but it makes it so much more complicated to get up instead of just simply waltzing in. Also, this section over here has been extended just to go right back here and just drop down, so brilliant Nintendo, brilliant. Overall, compared to the previous layer of tower control for this map, I'm gonna give us like a 9 out of 10, honestly. Spawn is better. The mid is better, path through is a bit better. Still can have a beeline straight towards it, but now with that left side opened up a bit more, hopefully that will mean that it's a bit better. I'm not too sure. Still gonna give like an 8.5, 9 out of 10. Now in my opinion, Remake wasn't really that bad, so we're gonna have to see what's been changed with this. Spawn looks pretty much the same, you have that flank going on the side. Rainmaker checkpoint's still in the same position, but you can use it as like a wee jump now to get up because the ramp's gone. This side's pretty much the same. Um, the extension has made this a lot wider, actually. This is a decent bit wider. The left side still has this weird jump here. It still has this weird ramp here. Oh, wait, this is a wall here. Okay, so they've added a wall here, a wall here. That's pretty nice. But do you know what this means now? I believe you can actually make this. No, you can't. Okay. So if you come down here from the new left side, you still have to make this. Well, there's a block here now. This is good at least. You can jump here and you can probably jump up. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so crap today. There is this new block here, which means you can jump here, use mid. There's also a bit of a block here, so you can use this as cover for this side, or you can jump to it from here. And I believe if you do a, a good jump here, yep, you can jump up here now. So do you know what? That's actually pretty good. The Rainmaker's now a pedestal. That actually makes it feel a bit more sound. Quite like it. It's also just bigger in general. Like, it's actually a lot bigger <laughs> by a decent bit. This checkpoint's actually been shifted forward. Before, what this would be would, is that you would have this checkpoint up here. It's closer now, actually. That's interesting. I don't like that, actually. I think that's a bit too much. Or maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Maybe it's encouraging you to use the left path, because before, everyone would go up here, you'd be shooting up here. But now, because this is a bit closer, and because it, you don't have to make an awkward jump to get up here, you could just dunk the Rainmaker, and now you have this Rainmaker as a pedestal. Do you know what? I get what the design they're trying to go with is, but it's a bit awkward. This block here becomes a wee jump here, which is actually pretty nice. They actually removed the block that was like right here. That's interesting. They removed the block that was here, made this section uninkable. Before you did this, didn't ha this wasn't here. So you'd have to go, like, go from here up to about here, then you have to jump around, but now you can just go straight across, and you can then jump on the pedestal and just dunk the Rainmaker. There's also this wee block here that's been changed from, I think it was an uninkable before. If not, then it, was like, it wasn't like this before. That's been changed. 
So yeah, that's an extra, that's a wee bit extra thing. Overall, this map mode change is actually not too shabby. Not too great from what it was before, so I give it like a 7 out of 10. But still pretty cool. Finally, Clam Blitz. What do you have to show? Spawn, same. Pretty much expected. You can't jump back up there. The section at the side seems to be extended a good bit. That seems alright. Basket has been moved, actually. It was once about here before. Before it was like right about here. Now it's over here. That's actually pretty good. There's also some new sponges as well. Like that sponge is new. That's already been there before, but that, that sponge is new. Um, sure, Nintendo. So, they just copy and pasted the zones um, post and put it there. This side's got a bit of an extension here, same as what was in Rainmaker. This wall, this wall and block, and this wall are pretty much all the same. How many? Well, there's a lot of clams to say for sure. That's quite a lot. But now there's a block that allows you to go up here. So that gives you an alternate route instead of just flushing this side. So like, that's all right. But this post, what I get, I mean, maybe it's to help with chargers, but you could just stand here and write Pete though. Was this balloon here before? I don't remember, but regardless, this block seems to be new, or is it new? You no, know, it's not. It was not new. That was there before. But there's probably a reason to go over here now, because now you can just traverse into mid, and you can actually make the jump. What is wrong? Give me a break, guys. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I woke up half an hour ago. I'm a tired little sh. Thankfully, I think on this map, there's not going to be too many clam issues. Hey, let's use the new block. Let's go. This actually makes clam dunking a lot easier. Although, maybe that's a bad thing. All right, what we got? So that block there becomes flush. Same as says Rainmaker. That block over there becomes the same jump as it would be in Turf War. Bond doesn't seem to be too different. There is nothing to talk about it here. Although, this once was an inkable block. But now, it's a lot flatter. Overall, it's not bad. It's probably one of the more mid ones. And I'm kind of concerned for this here. Because instead of having to go... Because before, you'd have to go crab have clams. Then run all the way over here and get to the basket. But now, if you're in mid, you can just go bam, then bam. Or better yet, if you're stuck down here, you can just go whoop. And jump up here and then dump the clamp is all. Wait a minute, actually, hold on, wait. Wait a minute. No 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 no. Hold the phone, hold the phone, wait a minute. There's two balloons now. There's two balloons now. This was the original was the original one? Yeah. This was the this was, was the original one. And there was nothing to it. But there's a second balloon now. Right here. And it still has weird geometry. You have one job, Nintendo. You fixed everything, and you have one job. Why do these cables exist? There is so many more clam deposits, I feel like. There's too many clams for a stage like Mahi. So yeah, maybe this isn't the greatest of changes, but eh, we'll see how it is, I guess. Overall though, I'll give a stage rework about a six, maybe, I'll give a six or seven out of 10. Pretty nice. Why do you? Six out of 10. Do you tell me clam spawn right here? In throwing range of the bat, why? For a stage like Mahi, Mahi, that just feels bad. It's not necessary. Oh my god, no way. Yeah, this is a 6 out of 10 for a rework. Why is there so many cl more clam deposits, like, in general? So there you have it. Mahi Mahi reworks. I don't want to say for some of them. Things like clam, it's a kind of mixed opinions. Especially for how many freaking clam deposits are all over the place. But more prominently, things like tarot control are actually probably better than now. Even if not all of them are going to be better, I'll still be happy if there's some benefit for some of the modes. But why did a clown spawn right here? I mean, this is mid, but mid is also in throwing range. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I don't know what to say to finish the video up. The stage works are all right. That's what I'm gonna say. Overall, the stage works are pretty good for all five of them. And I don't have much else to say with that because yeah, just in general. Why am I so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.